This episode of Splitting Hairs is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Open or renovate your salon or barbershop with Minerva Beauty, the trusted equipment provider for over 175,000 beauty businesses worldwide. Explore their website for a wide range of stylish and affordable designs, colors, and price points that suit every need. Visit their showroom in Monroe, Georgia, boasting the world's largest in-stock salon equipment inventory. Shop now MinervaBeauty.com and don't miss their President's Day Sale offering up to 60% off select items and 15% off site-wide through February 21st, 2024. Splitting Hairs free salon education podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs, the free salon education podcast powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Super excited to be back here. Uh, You know, it's been a while. It's been a while, uh, but we're back and uh, excited to be sharing industry news with you guys, information, different things that are going on in the industry on a weekly basis. Uh, New episodes going to be coming out every single Monday. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, My name is Matt Beck. Uh, founder, co-founder of freesaloneducation.com. And we've also got, you want to say hi? Yeah, What's hi. Up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I'm Brian Hare. That's, that was my intro. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, Carly, hello, everyone. Yeah. And Christina's running the show. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so, um, we're back with the show. Super excited. I feel like, um, the way that we did this back in the day was a lot more complicated, even though it got a little complicated already this morning, <laughs> but it was less complicated than before. Uh, and podcasts were, uh, in my opinion, just kind of like not quite at that time, you know, yeah. they were a bit, a we were ahead deal, of our time, but hair podcasts yeah. were a little bit, you know, um, not quite out there. We did a hundred and some episodes, so we, we stayed with it. Uh, and then, you know, just kind of moved on and now we're back doing it, which I'm really excited about. Cause I feel like, you know, we're going to do this on a weekly basis. So it'll come out every Monday. Um, and just kind of share our thoughts and also hear your guys' thoughts out there. Uh, about things that are going on, current things that are happening and all of that. So uh, excited for that. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Minerva Salon of the Week, um, which is uh, Lauren Cicero Hair Company um, uh, on Instagram. Beautiful salon. And, um, you know, I would also want to give a shout out to Minerva. They're always supporting everything that we ever do. So uh, so I just a huge shout out to them. Great company. And, um, you know, Really cool salons. They're making cool things happen. So if you're looking to do that, uh, to update your salon or whatever, go uh, check out Minerva Beauty. All right. So the first thing, um, you know, I do want to talk about Dyson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which was kind of a big announcement yesterday. Uh, Supersonic R. <laughs> yeah. So what do we, um, what are our initial thoughts? And, and then we'll go through kind of and talk about what it is. But what are, what are your initial thoughts on it? I thought it was brilliant how they got us excited about it. Like that little teaser video where they blurred out the images and showing all these hairdressers excited. Like we didn't even know what it was they were going to launch. Like caused me to sign up for like text notifications from them yesterday because I really wanted to know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I'm sold. Like (laughs) I'm excited. I know. I don't think Carly's as sold based on what I was hearing this morning. Um, which it does carry a $570 price tag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's like, I knew they know, were going to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's like the big, and, and that's what they're saying. Um, but it is professional focus. So, um, you know, that's as a professional, are you going to buy it? You know, a hundred percent. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm reaching that point in my career where I'm starting to think that blow dryers are weakening my hearing. So, my ears perked up at the whole like, oh, it, was it thirty percent quieter or twenty percent quieter? And yeah, it says thirty like, percent smaller, twenty percent lighter. Um, and it did say something about quiet, and it is in the super video. quiet. Yeah, yeah. In the I'm video, like, all right, cool. Right. I'm interested in the. They're saying it's thirty percent lighter because I already feel like Dyson is pretty light. So like, yeah. how? Well, they showed like in that one video of the guy, the Dyson guy getting his hair done that yeah. the engine of it is like so tiny because mm-hmm. they moved it from like the tunnel down into the handle. So yeah. now it's like got to be super light. So I'm very interested. I think the thing with Dyson is that 
it's it's finally a company that is innovating in the tool space. You yeah. know what I mean? Like everybody's just doing a knockoff version of mm. whatever they've right. or they've just they go to the one blow dryer manufacturer and then everybody has the same sort of blow dryer. They right. just move the buttons a little bit or whatever. Right. Or so, put a touch screen on it. Yeah. So I think that was with the biggest deal when Dyson came out with this blow dryer or their first, you know, the supersonic blow dryer was that it was just so different. Mm-hmm. Um, and it like you're saying lightweight. Yeah. Uh, I never really felt like it was heavy. I always felt like the cord was the heaviest part, yeah. you know, <laughs> like in that box that they put on. Yeah. Um, but now seeing this, like I'm, I am definitely excited about it. Obviously the price tag is crazy, but it's they Dyson. do have great warranty. You know, I think that, it, and somebody, I saw somebody comment and they were like, you know, I've, am I going to have to return it six times? Cause like <laughs> they do have a great warranty, but are we also having to take advantage of it and go through that all the yeah. time? You know, like, I don't well, know. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I just, anytime that I've had to do customer service with them, it's been great and it's been easy. So like, what are we complaining about? Yeah, it's like, not really that big of a deal. And I know I that it's expensive, but we've gotten discounts on the supersonic for years. So I guess it kind of, it, that's how we're paying for it. Well, and that was <laughs> the point you were making yesterday too. Yeah, right? I was like, oh, they're coming out with a professional only so that they don't have to discount it for us mm-hmm. like they do yeah. with the regular one. <clears throat> yeah. Did they, I thought I read something about them uh, changing like the filter of it. Is that true? Because that's the problem that I run into most is like, you're supposed to clean it um, like after every use. And I feel like it shuts off when I have a day where I have a lot of hair that I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and that's like my biggest gripe, I guess, with it is that I don't want my blow dryer shutting off in the middle of me doing a blow dry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is the worst when it just starts flashing. Yeah. And then you got nothing and yeah. there's nothing you can do about it. Mm-hmm. I don't think the filter mm-hmm. looks really different. different. Well, yeah. my yeah. supersonic, I have a a newer kind of filter for it. That's like a two part thing that is way easier to clean. Okay. Mm-hmm. And like they sent me two of them so I can just take one off, throw it. And cause now they tell you to clean it, just get like a chelating shampoo and throw it in some hot water and just let it soak for a little bit and it's clean. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's just that. Or you could be like me. I don't even have mine on there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where it went. So it just, it works without it too. And then you never have to clean it because it's not filtering anything. There you so, go. Wow. Uh, that's an option. The other thing about it, uh, and then we'll move on, but the, and I want to hear everybody's thoughts in the comments as well. Like, are you going to buy it? Um, is this something you're excited about? I know the price tag is going to be an issue with people, but um, are you excited about the technology? You know, all that. Um, it, uh, the the attachments have a chip yeah. in them where the, the, dryer actually knows what attachments going on it and adjust to that. Um, That's cool. And Christina, we were talking about this yesterday, but she was saying like, what were you saying about it? Like, I was just saying, I'd like a chip to change to the actual hair type. Yeah. Like, like it shouldn't, that, really, you yeah. know, I should be adjusting it to what hair type if I'm blowing dry. Well, I, so on, I think what is going to change what they mean with that. Like I never really used the, like the soft, one of the ends that they have is for like the gentle blow. And I think that's what they mean. Like when you put on the one, like the guy was saying in the video, it just, it doesn't blow as hard so that you're not like It's adjusting the to scalp. what it, attachment you're using right. that, that they think you should Right, have like on. when you're doing, when you put the one on that's made to blow softer, mm. it will blow softer mm-hmm. so that you're not like burning the scalp or whatever. I don't know. I mean, we got to learn more. I could be completely yeah. off base with that, but I. Yeah. I mean, obviously these are kind of opinions, but yeah, I, we're just guessing, but <laughs> it, it would be cool though to have like the blow dryer. Like let's say you are power drying somebody's hair and then you want to switch to that and you put that attachment on and now it just automatically happens and you don't have to adjust. I mean, right. obviously that's very minor. I mean, I also things, but. never adjust. Everyone's getting the <laughs> oh exact my gosh. same thing. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> God. We're going full blow, high heat, everyone. That's yeah. like Baby, Matt. old person, oh. I don't care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's like Matt, Matt used what? to do my hair and he would go Fry to get it. the smoothing iron and it would be on like 450, <laughs> yeah. which there shouldn't even be a 450. And it I'm like, so what? smooth when you do that. Why, why is it that high? And he's Getting like, what do you mean? I, I don't change it. I just leave it on here. Was, yeah, oh it, get, it gets it done quicker. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. 
And sponsoring the show today, we got formulate.co slash Matt Beck. What is formulate? Formulate is your own custom chemist uh, that you can use to get your own custom formulation uh, via their app or website. So you go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck and you can get your custom formula, uh, shampoo, conditioner, uh, face wash, which is something I love so much. Um, you've got a scalp serums, uh, all kinds of different stuff. So you put in everything that's going on with your hair and you get a custom formula. And then the greatest thing about it is that doesn't end there. Uh, what happens is once you get your formula, you can tweak it. You can talk to the chemist. You write through the app, tell them what you like, what you don't like, and they make those customizations. And next time your uh, shampoo or whatever comes out, comes to you, um, you're going to get an an even more customized experience. So go check out formulate.co slash Matt Beck. All right, let's move on. Let's talk to talk about the Grammys. I know that it was a week ago. Yeah, it was a week ago, but, and I don't even really want to talk about the Grammys so much. I just, there was a couple standout hair things from the Grammys that have gotten a lot of talk. Yeah. Um, Miley Cyrus being one of them. Yeah. So everybody's seen the memes yes. out there. Um, what and then I saw I saw a headline uh, when I was looking it up and it was like we've figured out the nineteen dollar hairspray that it took <laughs> to to create that and oh, I just thought good. it was funny I know yay um, I'll so, have that next week yeah um, but yeah so what did we think um, did you think Miley Cyrus's hair was that big of a deal um, I just thought it, it made sense later when the Tina Turner thing yeah. happened obviously yeah. that's what she was going for so I. To me, it was more of a, a costume hair than that's her new look, yeah. right? So I don't know why. It's like I was like fine with it. Yeah. But then I loved it when she was performing and like tossed it around. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, and it moves too. That's the best. Yeah, that must be the $19 yeah. hair. Yeah, that's it right yeah. there. Yeah. For me, I feel like Miley kind of hit the mark because a lot of people were saying like, for as far as Grammy's fashion and Grammy's hair go, it usually is very campy. Um, and I think this year, a lot of artists kind of stepped away from that and went very simple and plain with um, their hair and fashion. And yeah. I think she did a really good job. Yeah, yeah. there was a lot of simple hair. Yeah, yeah, I the word that just came to mind when I saw like the overall, for the most part, not everyone, it felt very pedestrian. Which, as a hairdresser, I think is great because if people are going to bring me that and say I want my hair styled like that, I'm like, well, I can do that. That's easy. Let's <laughs> yeah, go. Right. I don't even need a brush. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Yep. But yeah. yeah, it was there was very little wow, and yeah. I'm seeing a lot of the the trends coming up are that like it's a lot simpler everything, and I think that it did reflect that that night. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. cool because it's very salon reality. Yeah, you know of what, what we're doing every day, anyways, and yeah. you know it didn't look like anybody was really. It just kind of was smooth and flat, really. Yeah. 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 Or oh, you're going on to everyone else now, not Miley, right? Not yeah, Miley. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. overall, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hers was not. No. Yeah. No. However, I will say, um, and I hopefully like Swifties don't come Get for ready. me because oh, I am geez. a Swiftie. Carly, Carly's Episode gone. one, we're shut down. Taylor Swift, <laughs> her stylist. I wish they would just do something more because I feel like she has a great head of hair and a lot could be done with it. And it just felt like flat. I don't know if she delivered on what she was trying to do. I wonder yeah. too, if, because didn't they say something about Miley's hair in the rain? Like, yeah. So mm-hmm. it, it, like she came in and or she did, she say something? I forget, but I don't know how I know that, but yeah. I think it was raining. Well, it was raining, right? Mm-hmm. Cause there was terrible raining in mm-hmm. California. Yeah. Um, uh, so Taylor Swift's hair, I felt like looked like it probably had looked really nice with that braid. Right. And then the rain, Fair. it looked like it had also been rained on yeah. maybe a little bit, but it was kind of like falling in the back, mm-hmm. um, which is another thing where maybe, maybe Dua a, got stuck in the rain too. Cause hers kind of looked a little washed. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oof. They don't know what to do with their hair when it's raining no. out there. But the, um, that's what happens when it rains once a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't have umbrellas or anything. Um, it's it looked Taylor good. Swift. It was tossed. She still yeah, pulled yeah, it, it off. Doesn't yeah. Matter. Yeah. Gave it, look, we're talking about it. Yeah. And she won everything. There you go. Yeah. If her hair was perfect. We wouldn't be talking about it. And this it. is what's <laughs> funny is her hair isn't really even that much of a standout, but it was, it was a standout for that night because nope. a lot of people weren't doing much, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Miley and Taylor are who everybody's talking about because they actually did something with their hair, which goes to show that that can also, you know, be a good thing. I guess. Yeah. 
Today's episode is sponsored by Mevo 2, the salon and spa software that stands out from the crowd. Forget what you know about standard software with their customizable dashboards. Mevo brings smart centers alive with real-time data, metrics, and goals tailored just for you. And when it comes to booking, Mevo's appointment book is a game changer equipped with AI and voice commands for the fastest and smartest scheduling experience. And with over 150 reports at your fingertips, Mevo is designed to elevate your business, streamlining your operations, and boosting revenue. Experience the difference with Mevo 2 salon and spa software like no other. That's My great. thing is I'm I'm obs- I'm a numbers person and so I use the productivity report constantly cuz I want to know like I want to know what I made in a pay period so I know what my next check's going to be like. I'm obsessed with checking my year to date and comparing it to last year, like all that stuff so I can set goals for myself and all that and they just make it so simple and quick like it's just a couple clicks and all right, now I know what's up and you move on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm obsessed with that. And, uh, and now they just added, a th- I don't know if they just added this feature, but they just highlighted the feature yeah. of the, <laughs> the zooming in of the appointment book and being able to do five minute increments. Like, yeah, I know maybe other software could do that, but I don't know. But this is like just being able to zoom in, you hit this button and it's just like, bam, now you got every five minutes, which for me, like some guys take me 15 minutes or 10 minutes, Yeah, you know? Some guys take me 45. So like, I want to be able to customize that and and do it really easy. So uh, it's definitely a a cool feature. And they talk about AI. AI is kind of uh, in the news all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Um, My Ivana, this is another thing that's going on. Um, That segue, Matt. (laughs) That was good. Thanks for messing it up. (laughs) No, I'm just, I'm just, you know, saying that was great. Oh, thanks. Uh, You know, I've been practicing. Let that Um, river keep flowing. (laughs) All right. Um, so my Ivana hair AI. Um, so we've, we've seen hair AI, right? Yeah. Um, they partner with Ulta. So uh, I want to roll this video. They were at CES, which is the consumer electronics show, um, in Las Vegas, I believe it's in Vegas. They, um, they were kind of showing what it was all about. So we'll roll a quick video so you guys can kind of see. So, um, so that's like the first part and that's really what it, it, they're just, they partnered with Ulta. I think this is a good move for Ulta, obviously. What do they care about? My opinion, but, (laughs) but you never know. It makes it is, are people going to use the technology is really the, the challenge. It's just another step of trying to get a product. But if you go to an Ulta store and now you can do a hair analysis of your hair and then it tells you whatever Ulta product will fit that. Right. Um, and and it's good for a company that has multiple brands. Like, uh, you know, we had a Paul Mitchell's AI here mm-hmm. that we tried. Um, guessing that didn't work out because I haven't seen that anywhere ever. Um, we used it on a couple clients and then yeah. you start to just be like, I don't, yeah. I don't have time. Well, it was I, an add on to like your phone or something. Like, yeah. oh, here, let me clip this on my phone. And have right. my phone read what your hair is. Get needs. really yeah. close to your scalp and show you. And you had like <laughs> synchronize like. this camera, this like microscope to your phone. So it was just, yeah. it was just a not a good process. Uh, it's not a good selling. Yeah. Believable. Yeah. Right. But I think this is good. Not only like from the business standpoint, I think it'll be good for the people that, because not everybody has like a super close relationship with a hairdresser who knows how they take care of their hair, knows what's going to be best for their hair. So for people who are like that, that are just going to like pop into Ulta and, you know, like they just want to grab some product, I think a way to maybe steer them towards something that would actually work for them. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, I don't think it's going to do a ton for like the hairdresser industry part of it, but from a consumer standpoint, I think that it could be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the conversation of AI, professional stylists, like what is really, you know, yeah, I where mean, they, is they, that line? You know, they haven't found anything. Maybe we should do yet a whole segment on that. That's going to be like <laughs> yeah, scary probably. for us. I think. Yeah, like 
I like it though because I feel like if it like in a salon setting, I think sometimes for first time clients or just some clients in general think that you're trying to push products on them just to sell them something. Yeah, and I am. I think with it, well, yes, but like <laughs> <laughs> that you don't actually no, believe not. in the product. <laughs> but I think with AI, it's kind of like here, like even this computer thing is telling you like, this is what you need for yeah, your hair. Yeah, computers so, don't lie. Yeah, so, no, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> see, now I see a different view. You have to get a lot of people out there. There's a whole lot of people that don't trust the Computers. computer. Yeah. yeah. So- I think it's smart to have it in, like Brian just said, for the consumer, for the shopper. Mm -hmm. Right. It will be used and utilized and probably, you know, you have different generations going in there believing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I I don't believe. I'm just saying there are people out there that might have questions about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And Ulta, you'll go into the store and they'll have their people trained probably and told you- this is where you take them and yeah. then use the, so it has a better um, so, opportunity to work. Not better. to cut yeah. you off, but there are a couple of shout outs. Like uni was saying hello from Boston. Abel was saying hello. Roller girl. Hey, everyone from Las Vegas and Robert hair Academy asked how you're doing. Oh, cool. But I wanted to get just to Donna here. She said the hairdresser is missing out. If we are educating our clients on products, why give the business to Ulta question mark, question mark with AI question mark. Mm-hmm. Well, we I, need to take charge behind the chair. That's what I'm saying is I don't know that it is so much affecting or really going to be used that much by us in a salon, but there are so many of those people that don't have that, whether they're salon hoppers or they just cut their own hair at home yeah. or color their own hair at home that don't have a relationship with a hairdresser but still want what's best. Like I said, this is I don't think this is going to do anything f- I don't think my clients will be using this or whatever. This is Ulta customers. Right. Yeah. These are, these are the, there are people out there that will need this and I'm glad for them that they can have this. What would be an interesting uh, thing to know is if my Havana is, which I don't know off the, what I've read so far, if they, you can use that technology for your own place. You know what I mean? Right. Like maybe they have it. So it's not just well, Ulta or maybe now they're just exclusive Ulta. I don't know. Also, but. if say you're, your client is as an uh, is at an Alta. That client comes back to you and then brings you with that information, and you have that time then to have that conversation yeah. and talk about and educate. Oh well, oh, they said, oh okay, well yeah, we've been using this product and it is it does have that ingredient in it. Or yeah, because I think where that conversation goes, Christina is like, okay, I went to Alta. It said dry or damaged, whatever. Now it's my job as their hairdresser who knows how often they shampoo, what their work, what their workout schedule is like, all that stuff to then vitamins, age, hormones. Yeah. Right. Take Mm -hmm. that little diagnosis and apply the personalization to it. Yep. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I don't think think it's it's like a total, I think it's just something else to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm interested in like the software of it and how does it actually work? Maybe I am a little bit skeptical. Well, that's the thing. So you can <laughs> Terminator's coming. Will it oh, roll from it? there? Um, <laughs> can you hit from resume or I think or something? Just drag it over to and them. their wife is coming. <laughs> They're waiting. All right. So what she's gonna do is put her hair okay. all the way in the camera and then let's take a take So she just gets ready. real close to the camera. Shoppers takes a, a their picture. Phones. So it's really easy to just take a selfie photo of your hair. Selfie of your hair. Yes. It's scanning the hair strands. So now that's our mission to scan. You're like, I want to know how does that. <laughs> that's yeah, it. How does that work? So basically, it's just judging you from afar, like I do at CVS. <laughs> All yeah. Right. Here, like, I thought right. it was going to be like Maybe. getting in there, right. like some microscopic stuff. <laughs> like, yeah. And then you got to answer questions like if you have dandruff or breakage. Right. Like, I right. not, yeah. It's just taking a picture. This is what it's happens. Kind of like it's kind right. of right. Cut that, cut that, cut <laughs> yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, I definitely think so. That is going to be so similar to. Everything. That well, we, even the Paul yeah, Mitchell yeah. one it's was just a, a microscope quiz. on the scalp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. I mean, I'm sure it does analyze the dryness of your hair. But like you're saying, yeah. you're, it's judging it based on a, a surface view. Right. Yeah, I want to know but what that I, is, what it is. Yeah, what's the technology uh, Yeah, I want to know. Um, we'll dig deeper into that and, and figure it out. 
All right. So we only got a few minutes left. Let's Adrian go Gomez says hello. And Becky John said, well, she personally would only trust her hairdresser whom see, whom sees me not as a machine as it does not have the real touch. I think that's what she says. Yeah. I get that. I get that. Mm, yeah. Amen. Um, all right. Oh, I wanted to get to this annoying passenger. We don't have time to tell this story. Um, <laughs> oh my God, do you, it's such a funny story. I know. We only got, we you don't want to rush it. We'll bring it up next week. All right, next week. Tune in next week. Whoa. And for, we got to make we it got good. A cliffhanger, because folks. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a story, like, it's so silly, but it was so funny. And maybe you had to be there, so we really have to make sure we can tell it. Oh, no, tell we, we can tell a story. It. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we have to do that. All right. <laughs> so tune in next time. Um, we well, had a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah, today. so it's a short so show, we'll, but yeah. uh, this is a good introduction back to it. Yeah, um, mm. we do need to spin the free wheel. So, do we have somebody on there who wants to spin the wheel? How the free wheel works? We've got a few sponsors on there. We've got Minerva Beauty on there. They're giving away a Thera gun, which is super cool uh, and definitely good for those long days in the salon. And then we've also got Mevo Two, which is giving away tickets to some of their upcoming events. So that those events are all over the country. So we'll give you more details about that. Uh, and then Formulate.co, you get a customized formulation uh, for yourself. So that's up on. On the wheel as well and then we've got a ton of tools up there from our online store shopfse.com so uh, if you're looking for professional scissors tools razors um combs uh all kinds of stuff we got the new evo uh, razor out as well so this is the evo razor pro um so that's on there so let's give that thing a spin and let's see what becky is gonna win there it is all right give it a spin yeah, that i mean brian <laughs> and it's Minerva. it's Minerva. All That's right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, so, um, it's, so, you said Becky, right? Yep. So, Becky, email. Um, let's email info at freesaloneducation.com. Uh, just send your information over address, name, phone number. Um, and I'll send it over to Minerva and they'll send you out uh, a really cool gift. So, Heck there yeah. you go. All right, guys, that was, uh, we have to do hair now. So yeah. um, uh, that's episode one. How do we feel? I, I, you know what? That was good. Nice, f- nice way to start. Yeah. Feels good. It's going to get better, I think. If it can. I mean, that was, that was <laughs> no, it's 10 going out of 10. To be- <laughs> it's going to get better. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. <for this. laughs> uh, let us know in the comments below what you thought of the show. Make sure you follow Brian. Uh, at hairstyle across all socials. <laughs> Carly. At Hair by Carly C. Okay. And uh, Free Salon Education, everything for us. And um, that's it. Uh, Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you thought of the show in the comments. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. (laughs)